Since the dawn of human life on Earth, families uproot, leaving their homes and travel abroad in the wide world looking for a new start. In today's world, migration can occur in response to different forms of external pressures, like climate change, poverty, civil unrest, economic downturns, or a rapidly growing population. When migrants don't find a safe regular route for migration, they resort to migrating irregularly, putting their lives at risk, especially if they fall into smugglers' traps. Younger age groups are more vulnerable to risks of irregular migration as they seek for better lives and opportunities. With different motives and objectives, migration has become the face of modern globalization. توقع ان سنه 2030 نوصل 125 مليون ومتوقع سنه 2050 نوصل حوالي 160 او 163 مليون ده طبعا عدد كبير جدا ان عندنا فئه الشباب كلها بتمثل نسبه عاليه جدا ان احنا لو خدنا فئه شباب بس اللي هو اقل من 35 سنه دول يمثلوا اكثر من 66% من سكان مصر وده بتعتبر ميزه ان الشعب فتي قادر على العمل وعلى الانتاج يعني من اهم المشاكل مشكله البطاله ديت طبعا وهي اللي كانت وصلت ل 11 و3 من 10 ففي تحسن لكن ما زال برضه احنا عندنا طبعا بطاله ودي بتعتبر يعني عبء كبير جدا وبالتالي الدوله بتعمل جاهد على اتاحه فرص عمل سواء في القطاع الخاص او القطاع العام او الحكومه. Europe meanwhile faces nearly the opposite problem. For years declining birth rates have created serious workforce shortages. Employers need millions of workers to fill vital jobs in many industries. The International Organization for Migration, IOM, estimates labor shortages in Italy, France, Germany and the UK will reach 15.2 million over the next decade. In some European countries, more than half of their citizens are non-working retirees. The demographics of the, uh, the both sides of the Mediterranean are quite interesting for the time being. On the one hand, we have Europe facing shortages of labour markets because of the slowing down demography. On the other hand, we have Northern Africa, including Egypt, which has a booming uh, growth of population. By 2030, we can see that Europe will be in need of 20 million population from the labour market. On the other hand, Egypt, by 2030, will have a surplus of 19 million people on their labour market. Economic, political and social pressures have already driven millions of people northward across the Mediterranean to Europe, seeking jobs and security for their families. Egypt and members of the EU are severely impacted by this massive, unstructured migration. Accordingly, they must work together to ensure that migration flows evenly to where it is needed. Moreover, to create training programs that target specific labour shortages and provide graduates with the requisite skills. Additionally, prepare migrants and train them to successfully live in their new communities. For that reason, IOM, in cooperation with Egypt's Fayoum School for Hotel Management and Tourism, is stepping up to provide the tools, training and resources needed by workers to ensure that they are prepared to find employment in Egypt as well as other countries. التدريب العملي فرق عن عن انا بالنسبه لي في المدرسه عن الناس الغيري ان انا بكتسب خبره اكتر من المدرسه وبروح ببقى عارف انا هشتغل ازاي وهعمل ايه كان الهدف من البرنامج او من المشروع اللي نفذ في المدرسه اصلا ان هو الحد من الهجره غير النظاميه بتوفير بدائل او هاجر ايوه هتهاجر بس هتهاجر بطريقه رسمي بطريقه محترم بمهنه متوفره لك ان هو مش هتهاجر كده بمخاطره لا انت هتهاجر ايوه بس يكون في سوق عمل منتظرك It's interesting to look at the policy that Egypt has developed, which involved different ministries, including Ministry of Manpower and Ministry of Education. And as IOM, we are keen on pursuing this collaboration. We can see that Egypt is looking at how increasing the capacities and the skills of the youth for them to better integrate the labor market in Egypt, but as well as the other side of the Mediterranean. 
The European Union and its neighbours to the south are struggling to develop new and more effective policies, training facilities and social strategies for coping with the tide of irregular migration across the Mediterranean. By working together, we can solve the EU's labour shortage and, at the same time, bring irregular migration pressures under control. It is the mandate of the International Office of Migration to develop resources and programmes that encourage the nations of Europe, the Middle East and North Africa, as well as the migrants themselves, to act cooperatively and quickly for the benefit of all.